And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Trundlemere. That's right, we're gonna finally play Trundle and Trindamir together. We're calling it Trundlemere. Uh, we're going with the War Mother's Call. This is just a pretty popular deck right now. We're going with a stock list of this one. Uh, pretty stockish, I suppose. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to play these together and play, call it Trundlemere, because that's really cool. A couple people have asked about this over on YouTube, playing these together. That's another reason to play it. I do think this is a pretty good deck. You know, we're seeing it a lot uh, whenever we're playing games. And so I think it's a good deck for Rank Up Sunday, getting a new Rank Up Sunday deck in here. I got a couple spicy ones at the top with the She Who Wanders, Uzgar the Ancient. Those are awesome things to hit with War Mother's Call. Um, so those are good. Our deck's going to be really based around having Weirding Stones on turn three, and then also Avalanche, Catalyst of Aeons. You know, that's what our deck's going to be about. We got our Grasp the Undyings, our Withering Whales. You know, going to be trying to stay alive. A um, couple of Troll Chants to help keep our... Uh, like our Trundle alive, or Avros and Hearthguard, or Weirding Stones, or anything like that. That's our deck. Atrocity finishes the game out. It's going to be a fun one. So here we go. Let's let's go play some games. Settle in here. This could be a, a longer video. <clears throat> okay, we got Aurelian Soul Lux. Well, good Lux, opponent. War Mother's Call, awesome. Keeping that. All the rest of these we don't really need in this matchup. We want ramp. Where is our ramp? Whenever we play against this, there we go. Our opponents always have a whole bunch of ramp. Perfect. So we'll have Catalyst on three. Or we could go Weirding Stones on three. One of those on three. Then Hearthguard on four. I suppose it's better to play Weirding Stones. Especially how we won't be gaining any life from Catalyst. Now, the reason to play... Um, Catalyst, though, instead, would be the Catalyst would be reliable. And and in case they would have removal for the Weirding Stones. Alright, so we could Vengeance the Moose. I kind of want to just play my Trundle. So the earliest we can play War Mother's Call, we need to have 9 mana and the 3 spell mana. So if I go... If we go Catalyst here... Yeah, we're going to be going Catalyst here. I'll knock them dead. Let's attack first. Sweet. They are light shine forever. So Catalyst gives us um, eight mana next turn where I can go Pillar and Hearth Guard and then also save and then have War Mother's Call the next turn. Uzgar. Alright, well it's just gonna die. Can't keep it alive. Maybe no reason to play Ice Pillar then? Uzgar's cool, but Uzgar... Playing Uzgar means I don't get to War Mother's Call next turn. The War Mother will unite us all. I'm just gonna play this. I don't think there's really a reason to just play the Ice Pillar and let them just challenge it twice and kill it. Doesn't seem like that's really necessary.
War Mother's Call. Not the best trundle draw, because we'd rather have the trundle on top. Our sun will not set today. And put trundle in for free. I should attack with the hearth card also. Probably should attack with hearth card also. Alright, so what that was all about is I want to get that 1-1 one, one out of here. Because I need space for my War Mother's Call. Like playing against War Mother's Call, you want you want them to just fill up their board, and then they have no r room to get the free card. This is our homeland. We could Vengeance. We can't Uzgar or Trundle. We could Vengeance. I don't know if Vengeance is that necessary. Good. Love this attack. Kill some stuff for me. some stuff to die. Okay, at least we cannot get any more Weirding Stones. We are out of Weirding Stones. Stones. See if they do something. Hush. So just using like troll chance not gonna really work because they just cast another hush. But maybe I should have done that first, had them cast another hush. No, because they'd still have enough. Okay, so give this minus two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um go to nine. Minus two, there we go. Okay, that worked. We got a judgment and a hush out of their hand, and we didn't kill, and they didn't kill anything. So that works. Opponent surrendered. Sweet. They never stood a chance. All right. Hopefully, they do not deny War Mother's Call. That's that's our hope. These do not deny War Mother's Call. Besides that, we want ramp. Usgar, pretty cool. But it's not ramp. We want ramp. N B R. Nothing but ramp. Don't want this avalanche, don't want this vile feast. War Mother's Call's good. We'll take ramp and War Mother's Call.
probably go in Trundle next turn. So then spending five mana on that Deep Meditation, that does mean they only have five mana right now, so that um, Thermogenic Beam is not going to kill Trundle. We did draw the Hearth Guard, though. I'm gonna, I'm actually going to just play Hearth Guard and get the Hearth Guard going. See, good call. Many tribes under one banner. Now they'll all have plus two, plus two. It's gonna lead the way. That's cool. What is gained when you return malevolence? These are true. So if we just keep on playing threats like this. Bounced. Like the rockets last night, getting bounced. Breathing. So the important thing about getting those two um, getting those two is now they have this uh, the draggling, so that if I if I would play the ice pillar we'd make the Draggling vulnerable, and I don't want to make the Draggling vulnerable. So basically what this means is I'm not going to be playing Trindomir this turn. We are going to be playing Trundle again. Because then I'll, I'll be able to, you know, i got to keep the spell mana for War Mother's Call. Gotta get this attack for zero in. That's, a, that's crucial. Crucial attack there. Okay, not going to War Mother's Call into all of this mana. For the thrill of battle. So for the thrill of battle, we'll just play Trind Trindamir instead. So now we got Trundle and Trindamir in play. Trundlemir. Nothing but big boys and ice. We got big boys and ice. Frozen. Currently, this is going to be plus four, plus zero for Trundle. If we attack with Trundle. Alright, not quite. Still got their four mana for deny. My blade grows restless. Azgar. The answer lies within. Be at peace. It's too late for that. Kate loves battle. 
No, I definitely don't need to avalanche. The spirit gives to those who listen. The body must thrive for the mind to be free. What is gained when we return malevolence? Yes, with black eyes and flesh! Just attack like this. No, of course not, Dan. I don't know why. No, Twisted Fate Swain's a really good deck. I don't think because you. Yeah, like I just because you lose a game doesn't mean the deck's bad. Swiftfoot. That card's amazing. makes a good deck. It's a deck that has a, I guess just a, a deck that has a, a real, pretty, you know, fairly good chance of beating most everything. You know, the, of like, a deck that like whenever you queue up with it, you're confident that you're going, going to win. That's, that's a good definition for a good deck. You queue up with a deck and you're confident that you'll be able to win with it then I would say it's a good deck. So there's one deny out of their hand. One deny down. Good at drawing weirding stones. So yeah, that's gonna just put two more karmas back into their deck. Don't have the most mana. My plan is to have the troll chant give the Ezreal the minus two, so Ezreal cannot um, cannot generate a Mystic Shot this turn, and then have the the Vile Feast take down the Karma.
So we have 10 cards in hand. Nice to have another one mana or two mana deal one instead of withering whale but they got me vengeance is good but not as good as ramp into war mother's call this is not going to be a deny deck now we just want ramp into war mother's call really don't want to draw these units these units are, are pretty bad to draw be just because then you know they're not cards we get in for free with War Mother's Call. The, you know, having one of these five drops is good. Um, I think I'll lead with Hearth Guard. Never mind, lead with Weirding Stones. Like, if they have their own trundle, which is pretty likely. So we want our trundle to fight their trundle. We fight for one Freljord. We just really like getting Our will lead the um, getting Avaros and Hearthguard in play for those plus one plus ones. I do really like that. Wow, that's an awesome hand. That is a really awesome hand. These are troll I can tell. I definitely have to cast Weirding Stones this turn. So that we get to play Warm Brothers Call next turn. So I don't get to play anything else. So this turn, I'm, it's just Weirding Stones. I assume their only two dragons are Mind Splitter and Aurelian Soul. What could be wrong? We need to stop drawing units. We need to put those into play. So we go She Who Wanders next turn. The trolls are going to war. Gets rid of all the ice pillars everywhere. Yeah, basically, I need She Who Wanders to, to try to match up with Aurelian Soul. Let's see, so Trundle... I still want to play this first and level up Trundle. Trundle can challenge Aurelian Soul. Has six power now. We have one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, should go to eleven power. Thank 
take forever, why don't you? <sighs> Deal 15 to all enemies. Yeah, I mean, guess it just happens. Anyone for some stardust? Two. All right, got rid of two other cards. Kindly Tavern Keeper and another Weirding Stones. Oh, I can't challenge. I can't challenge the nine four. By attack, they could just not block. Yeah, I think we just got to kill a really soul. So we both have six cards in hand, but they have a nine four in play. And we know they have. I think two Celestials, one of them costs seven or more. Oh yeah, we have the, our War Mother's Call doing stuff. I forgot we got to War Mother's Call. Um, blocking there doesn't do very much. Kinda wanna pass turn. Because if they would be playing a really in soul this turn, I would need I would want to keep it from leveling up, so I'd want to play Ice Quake. Alright, but they're not gonna be playing a really in soul, so we can drop Trundle nice and Avaros and Hearth Guard. Okay, never mind. They are just playing second Aurelian Soul. Well, that's a killer. Yeah, that's a killer. Um, yeah, I guess, I mean, I, I can't stop that. Many tribes under one banner. It's probably, yeah, you're right, that's probably game. The heavens diminish without my attention. The constellations bow to me. Yeah, I guess that's why I shouldn't have blocked, I guess. To 20 with that life gain. How middling. Bow. Exact. No, we just kill this. So break break up the spell shield with the unspeakable horror. I could go for the exact damage with this hearth guard. Like it would be better to go with this hearth guard for the exact damage, but it's just too risky. I think this is a lot safer. Tell 
Good. We got to kill this in combat before they started playing zero mana Celestials, so that's very good. Man, I'm sorry to hear that, Dark Phoenix. Um, your hard work's not down the drain, though. Get back to it. Keep working hard again. It's not down the drain. It's still there. You still did it. And you can do it again. So that's not lethal with these right now. I certainly wish certainly wish I could play War Mother's Call. There's not really a way to do that. So I could have played the Ice Quake first, and I would have saved six life. But I wanted to... Um, no, let me play that. I wanted to play the Ice Pillar, because I wanted this Great Beyond to have Vulnerable so I could challenge it. So Mortal Fire is going to be a problem. Because it's going to come back. Um, do I... I play another Warm Brothers Call again. That Immortal Fire is still a problem. So yeah, maybe I just Avalanche here. Which means if I Avalanche, I want to start with Ice Pillar and let them play something first before I Avalanche. If my plan is just going to be to Avalanche anyway. No, 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 no. I should have Avalanche first and then done and then done this, right? No, because no, it'll still stay alive. It'll stay alive. Oh. Um. Yeah. All right, I think we got this. Because that should still just stay vulnerable, right? Like, it's not a new thing, right? Yeah, okay, good. That's still vulnerable. My Trundle's gonna die. Well, no, it doesn't have to. I can use Vile Feast. Oh my gosh, I am so glad. <sighs> yeah, we are just killing Trundle. Good 
Okay, there's probably a cleaner and better way to do that. But I was trying to think of a way to keep the trundle alive, but we couldn't. So this Trindomir will be stocked. We don't have that much stuff left for our War Mother's Call, do we? Like in our deck, just in general? Don't think we have that much left. Yeah. We'll draw a spell. Okay. As long as we're drawing spells, we definitely do not want to draw any more units. We're going to run out of units real soon. Let's have Hush again. Stop hushing my Trindomirs. That's probably game, honestly. I don't think I don't think I have enough units left. Yeah, we have no we have no units left. We have none. The turn five, they had eight mana. All right, I like this hand. This should be a pretty aggressive deck where Avalanche is going to be a necessity. I think this is going to be a deck like that. So, yeah, love having Avalanche, Avalanche, Withering Will. This is a really good hand for us. She Wanders is always the very worst card to draw. Because we want to just put it in play off of War Mother's Call. But with that being said, you don't get the play ability if you get it in for free with War Mother's Call. One mana short of Withering Whale plus Avalanche. Because we could go double Avalanche. If you obliterate the shark but already died once and came back, would it still come back? I don't believe so because you'd obliterate it. I think it's each time it dies, it's a new ability, I think. Not 100% sure on that. I'm not sure exactly how... I don't think it's possible, though. Like, if you said... You said the shark already died and then came back. And then you obliterate it. I don't think that's even possible in the game. Because if it died and came back, the only way it's coming back is during combat. And I don't think it's possible to obliterate during combat. So I don't think that's even possible. Uh, you don't have to... Units that appear off of War Mothers, you're not drawing them. And so I don't think the Poison Puff Caps would do damage to you.
So we'll go with that one first before Avalanche, so that we're doing we're doing two damage to the Escaped Abomination instead of doing Avalanche first and then doing one damage to the Escaped Abomination. Plus, if they play some other unit here, we're doing two damage to whatever unit they play, not one. I suppose that's problematic. I can't just pass and then they pass. I gotta play this first. And I gotta hope that they play another unit before combat. And that I get to, not, not during this turn, during their turn, another unit before combat and I get to Avalanche on their Let's turn. Yeah, it would've been nice to take out that used cast salesman also, but I just can't risk it. So the problem here is that my next turn is going to be terrible. I could keep, I could just try to keep the Weirding Stones alive and then next turn I could War Mother's Call if I don't go with this Avalanche. We're going to clean up the board. We're at nine. They got four cards. So the problem is my next turn I got nothing. We're going to only have eight mana again. We want to save three spell mana. So that means we can spend five. So we want to draw something that costs five or less and affects the board. So like a Graspian Undying, a Withering Whale, an Avalanche, a Catalyst of Aeons, or something that costs five or less, a, a Trundle. An Avros and Hearth Guard. We wanted any of those cards. Thankfully, their follow up was just a 1 1. Not much follow up. That 1 1 can magically turn into a 4 3 if things go bad for us. But I don't want to play the Vengeance because then, then I have nothing the next turn. Ugh. Well, I guess I gotta play Vengeance. doesn't look good for me. Nope. GG's. Callista was a killer, and they won. How about these troll chants? They've looked pretty silly. I don't know, maybe, maybe they're necessary, but very poor against Akro. I guess they, they've actually they've looked good sometimes. They've they've had some good good things to do. Alright, so just like a good War Mother's Call player, we're, dra we're just drawing all of our units. So we're not going to have any units left. For our War Mother's Call again. Don't really like either of my options. My options, of course, are either Hearthguard or Vengeance. Don't really like either one. Oh, 
They are playing Glimpse Beyond. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a card that I wish that we had a lot of time. Maybe maybe we should have that instead of the troll chant thing. Glimpse Beyond's amazing. Good turn for them. Okay, I do not get to War Mother's Call next turn. Even with a catalyst. If I go catalyst, we'll have nine, but nine plus two, so we'll have eleven. So let's just get another another threat in here with the hearth garden. And again another hearth garden. Return to us. Now we'll have War Mother's Call Mana next turn. I'm gonna make a you sickle. <laughs> to the king. Hmm. I'm gonna pass. Let's see what they do. Bow to your king. For the homestead. This is gonna be fun. So that thing's an eight seven. Take an eight. <laughs> yeah, now now we're gonna get all of our weirding stones. So let's see, maybe we put in a trundle. Let's see, so we have two Weirding Stones, two Trundles, two Trindamirs, an Uzgar, and a She Who Wanders. So we have eight units left in our deck. Smell a fight. Eight units left in the deck. You weren't always this brave. One smack will do. So yeah, there's zomb zombie trundle, huh? Now they're not playing Thresh, they're just only playing Trundle. So Rekindler always brings back Trundle and Kindler, I'm assuming they have a bunch of missed calls and stuff like that. So this is their second copy of Trundle. We've gotten rid of one copy, but they brought it back with Rekindler. So they're completely filled. They their board is filled, their hand is filled. They're completely filled. Um I guess I'd keep taking down ice pillars, but I don't even know if I'm supposed to, because they don't have any room for more ice pillars. I don't even know if I'm supposed to. If I take down, if I kill the ice, ice pillars, they just play more. So they got another trundle in hand now, so they have a trundle's ice quake here. Do not stand in my way! So it's damage to them. Might as well do damage to them. I guess I could could have turned that 08 into an 03. Pale striders, these are dark omens. It's always cold in the Freljord.
They should just continue passing on their end. This is gonna be fun. Okay, good. We get. This is our homeland. We get to actually block everything. This would put us down to eight. I need I needed a, a unit to die. I was gonna be grass the undying. My plan was actually to grass the undying my own Avaros and Hearthgar because I need a unit to die because we're gonna be putting in something for free with War Mother's Call. So I already needed something to die anyway. Why do I never play around Atrocity? I just always forget that Atrocity is a card and never play around it. I am really bad against Atrocity. This happens to me a lot. There's no reason for me to lose that game. You have bested me this time. Somebody on YouTube mentioned this, and I never really thought about it, but they're saying that that Atrocity is just kind of an, an unfun card, right? Like it's never it's basically just like a, a net negative um, as far as the game goes because it's just something that's it's terrible to lose to it's not even you know it's not like the you know like it's it's always a real feels bad whenever you just lose to atrocity um, you know it's a huge feels bad it's not even the most like invigorating way to win either of winning with atrocity it does make decks like these and decks like my opponent was just playing it does make these kind of big unit decks much more viable having it in the format and so i think it's i think it's like i don't think it should go away like that's that's what i'm trying to say even though it probably is a, a, a net negative um sorry Har my dog doesn't like atrocity i guess <laughs> harvey's not a fan of atrocity yeah i mean there's there's still plenty of things to counter atrocity it's not like it's not like overpowered or anything like that like i don't think it's overpowered but I didn't. I just never really thought of that before. But I, I guess that's probably right. It probably it probably is like a, a net negative experience overall. But it, I mean, I'm not. I'm just kind of just stating that. Like I don't. I don't think it necessarily needs to be nerfed or needs to you know leave the format anything like that. Um, chat saying like maybe just maybe have it seven mana be the same as vengeance, at seven. Like it's a similar kind of card. I could. I mean, I could see that. I could see it. At seven mana also i agree it's not nearly as negative as hush 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 is obnoxious <laughs> um but yeah uh that last game i i i don't necessarily think that i should say that i should have won because it's going to be a long game but there's there's no reason for me to lose when i did lose um I didn't didn't play around atrocity. I just kind of forgot about it, and that's something that I will do from time to time. Um, anyway, there we go. It's Trundlemere. Not my kind of deck. If it felt okay, um, probably a, maybe a different pilot that that's more used to the deck that that's more like up like their kind of deck maybe would have done better than I did with the one and four. Not my not my kind of deck though. Uh, our War Mother's calls weren't even that good. <laughs> we were running out of units all the time. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it did did not perform as well for me as what it looks. It looks a lot better playing against it than what it looked than what it felt playing it. Um, yes, I do think that. Yeah, I think glimpse glimpse beyond would be good. I think that I would probably rather have that than than troll chance. Troll Chant was was nice for us a couple of times with like against Juggernaut, Juggernaut, gosh, against Judgment, and other stuff like that. Like, there's nothing I don't mind Troll Chant, but yeah, Glimpse Beyond that was a real issue. That was a real issue of having of not having enough space, of um, you know having like these weirding stones just being, um, you know, these weirding stones. Not only weirding stones, but then also just like the ice pillars. Right, like we had those things that were just taking up a lot of space, and that that was a big issue. 
So yeah, I could definitely see a Glimpse Beyond because the other thing is we, we ran out of cards pretty fast. There's nothing that says draw, right? Like there's not a single thing that says draw in here in the entire deck. So not only did we run out of space, but then we also were running out of cards and interaction for those games that were going long, longer, especially like the Aurelian Soul version was just gener like they were generating a bunch of cards and we weren't. Um, so yeah, I, I could I could definitely see playing Glimpse Beyond um, instead and being able that kind of <clears throat> fixes two problems because like I didn't I didn't really like Vile Feast that much like the Spiderling. Because that's, that's something that you got to kill your own Spiderling. Because if you can't kill your Spiderling, that's a, that's a problem. I'm not sure that's better than Unspeakable Horror. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't know if this is supposed to be 3 and 1. Maybe 2 and 2. But... Um, yeah. Anyway, that's Trundlemere. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube... Hit that like button and leave those comments. Let me know if there's anything about the deck you would change. What, you know, what, if you've tried Glimpse Beyond in this deck, what's been your experience with it? Do you think this would be a good Glimpse Beyond deck? Um, you know, and, and anything like that. Any, any uh, tips, tricks, anything you have with this deck for other people watching, leave those comments below. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some Trundlemere, and I'll see you for the next video.